Hello everyone. Let's learn what AC sweep is and how to do AC sweep using OCAD suit. As an example, I'm going to take a look at a low pass filter. First of all, I will give you a little bit of background, a theoretical background on this RC low pass filter. This is a low pass filter made out of a capacitor and resistor. So you can see uh, V2 is the voltage source in this circuit and V out is where our load is connected. So let's try to write V out in terms of V in. Now you can see this uh, resistor and capacitor they are connected in series. So if we know the impedance of the capacitor and the resistor we can uh, consider this as a potential divider circuit. We can write impedance of the capacitor divided by impedance of the capacitor plus uh, resistance of the resistor. We know that impedance of the capacitor is equal to 1 over j omega c. So c is the capacitance, omega is the angular frequency, j is the uh, letter that we use to represent uh, imaginary numbers. So uh, just to uh, make it a little bit simpler, I'll uh, divide everything with ZZ, so the 1 plus R divided by J omega C, so th this becomes that's J omega C. Now uh, uh, I would like to write this sorry, A plus JB format. So in order to get this into this format, uh, I will multiply numerator and denominator with 1 minus JRC omega so when you have 1 plus JRC omega 1 minus JRC omega so it's a subtraction of two square terms so we can write When you have j squared, j squared is minus 1. Since we have imaginary terms, uh, what we can easily do is we can consider v out divided by v in. So let's consider the modular. This is the magnitude of this transfer function. You can see that uh, this, uh, the ratio V out divided by V in. As you change the frequency, this ratio changes. And if you increase uh, the fre angular frequency, that is omega, uh, the value of this one is reducing. The lower frequency uh, will be passed and high frequency will be blocked. So that is why we call it a low pass filter. Now let's try to obtain this sketch by doing a simulation. So I have already started the new project in CAPTCHASIS and uh, put all the components in place together with the ground and especially you can see that as the uh, signal source I use a different component called VAC so that is a compulsory thing so we use VAC as our uh, signal source so the frequency of the VAC is the one that actually we change to do the simulation. Now to make it a little bit more uh, uh, easier, so we will put net aliases as well. I have added two net aliases V out and V in, so that in the, and then we want to make a simulation profile. File. What we need to do is we need to do a AC sweep. So analysis type. From here we can pick AC sweep, and there you can pick. We have two options, either we can go for linear option or logarithmic 
option so i prefer going logarithmic scale usually as you sweeps are done in logarithmic scale so here you can't put zero as a starting frequency because log zero is not defined so i'll start with one hertz and as the end frequency i will put 50 megahertz here so if i just put capital m that will not work so i need to put make so whether it is capital m or simple m that will be considered as a milli so if you want to put mega you need to put make and here it's a points per decade so i'll put 10 here so let and then i'll run this simulation uh, my simulation has already finished but i don't have any traces so you can see my x-axis starting from 1 hertz 10 hertz 100 hertz so that is because of the x-axis is in logarithmic scale and it says frequency now y-axis i will add the trace what i really want as my y-axis is v out divided by v in so here i have v out i'll divide that with v in and then i can obtain the curve you can see the curve properly here and there is a term called board plot in the board plots usually both x and y axis are in logarithmic scale so therefore uh, our y-axis since it's a voltage ratio we can convert that into a, a logarithmic scale preferably if we can go for decibel that could be the best so i'm going to double click this here and going to change this one so uh, decibel we can easily write from here so if you look at uh, the functions and macros available here you can see all the functions available so here you can see log 10 log is natural logarithmic and log 10 is base 10 so i'm going to have log 10 so i'll put 20 multiplied by log 10 uh, within brackets i'm going to put v out over v in so now i change my y-axis into decibel scale so now my y-axis is coming in decibel now uh, if you want to find the cutoff frequency of this particular circuit we can easily do it uh, by using cursors you can see uh, uh, the maximum value is zero because uh, the ratio is one uh, since it's a passive filter and as you increase the frequency after roughly about one kilohertz start dropping this ratio and if we can find minus 3b decimal point that is our cutoff frequency for this filter that of course you can easily uh, find it by using cursors so i'm going to activate cursors with this button now one of my cursors is available uh, with my mouse point i can move them so as i move this one you can see the cursor moves so for this one uh, i can even apply cursor command so i will put my cursor here and move forward that means towards right in order to find uh, minus 3b db decimal point so i'm going to issue a command search forward level so it's maximum value minus 3.1 actually so if you want to find the exact uh, cutoff frequency so i'm going to click ok so you can see my cursor is moved here and from here i can uh, look at the measurement also uh, so the x value and y values are given so y value you can see it is minus 3.1 so it's a maximum minus 3.1 that is where i wanted to go and x value is 3.16 kilohertz so that's the cutoff frequency of this circuit hope you understand uh, the matter so uh, before that i will write down a few things uh, just for your reference so this is the button that I use to enable the cursors and uh, this is the button that I use to uh, put the command. The command that I have used is search forward. Level within bracket max minus 3.1 let me explain what i have in this command search forward means 
my cursor if you remember initially i put cursor somewhere here and search forward means cursor is moving towards right and level is the y axis value so the maximum value minus 3.1 so this cursor is moving towards right until it finds the max, uh, maximum value minus 3.1 in y axis so that is how we manage to get it done hope you understand it thank you very much see you in the next video